Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today I am showcasing my Kazuha Kaidahara build. So this is my first video recorded with voice so I'm kinda nervous so I apologize for any mistakes. However, let's get into it. So Kazuha is a wandering samurai from Inazuma. So he is a ronin and ronin are actually wandering or masterless samurais. So in this intro, I'm just going to be talking about my history with Kazuha before we get into it. Number one, I'm an F2P player who only has bought one Welkin Moon and that was for Kazuha. I just wish Genshin had a way for players who have reached the end game to have more stuff to do in the game instead of just waiting for boring periods until the next big update comes out. They need to fill the dead space with something to do, but that's another issue for another time. So I'm an F2P player, 99%, and... I had saved up all my Primo gems from the Eula banner after losing the 50-50 on Eula and getting... And I said I'm gonna pull for Ayaka because I wanted a really strong main DPS. However, when Kazuha came, I just loved his playstyle and his smoothness and his aesthetic, his character and everything and I said, okay, I'm gonna make this guy a main DPS. Now that is rather unconventional as not many people play Kazuha as a main DPS. I'm there, there aren't many people who play Kazuha as a main DPS. Mo most people keep him for the role around. he was intended to be, just the tune to which is to hear a elemental mastery support. Sorry, which is a support. He is, his main role is like Venti to be a support. But I decided to make him my main DPS, even though I have characters like D look. Now, uh, my substats on my artifacts aren't the best, and that's about it, and it's taken a lot of days of grinding, so... Hope you guys enjoy the video, if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you so much for watching. And without further ado, let's jump into it. So, the first thing I'm gonna talk about are his constellations. Now, I am a free-to-play player, so I'm a C0, I have a C0 Kazuha. But for those who are whales or would like to spend more on the character, I guess you can go as high as you want with constellations. Now, he is perfectly playable without any constellations. It's not like you need them in order to make him a good character, but of course they will make him a better character if you have them. Now, his constellation one decreases his Chihab Chihayaburu's cooldown by 10%. Now, actually, and it, using his ultimate, we're, we're not gonna name the ultimate, <laughs> resets the cooldown of the Chihiya Buru. Now I feel this is one of his best constellations as the plunge attack is so powerful and to have its cooldown reduced by 10% would just be amazing. You could almost just be plunging all the time and since using your ultimate resets the cooldown, yo, his DPS in my, his DPS potential in my opinion increases a lot with C1. Next, his C2 increases Kazuha's own elemental mastery by 200 when using his ultimate and increases the elemental mastery of characters within the field by 200. Now this is also a really good constellation but this would help a lot more as a support because I think it would be great if you used his Kazuha, his Kazuha slash, oh my god, his ultimate and then you switch to your main DPS, let's say you were playing a Diluc or a Klee or a Ganyu or someone like that. And, or Xiao even, and you switch to them, it would buff them indirectly. Next, his C3 is just raising the level of Chihiyaburu by 3. Now this one is pretty cool also. When his energy is lower than 45, pressing or holding this Chihiyaburu regenerates 3 or 4 energy. And the second one, when gliding, he regenerates 2 energy per second. is really cool because let's say you're gliding into a fight, everything will be up and ready to go. Constellation 5 just increases ultimate level, but now C6 is something we need to talk about. After using his Chihiyaburu or ultimate, Kazuha gains an animal infusion for 5 seconds. Additionally, each point of elemental mastery will increase the damage dealt by Kazuha's normal charged and plunging attacks by 0.2%. This is actually a very very good constellation and ups his DPS potential immensely it really does so in my opinion the best constellations are c1 is still my favorite then c6 and then c2 
So actually, sorry. Then so C1, C6, C4, then C2. Those are that's my order of priority for constellations. Not that it matters for me, but for someone who's not F2P, could help you decide. I don't know. Now, talents. My talents are not the best, I know, and there are two reasons for that. I don't have the books, I don't have enough these treasure hoarder things. God, I've, every day I wake up and when I've got free time after my work, I just do the treasure hoarder things and then call the day. This thing is painful, but if you're main DPS in Kazuha, I would get his um, base attack talents to a level 8 at least. Is Chihiyaburu to a level 8 and is ultimate to a level 8? I mean, I just have a question. Who in Mihoyo got up and decided, yes, I'm going to name his ultimate Kazuha Slash? Like, seriously. Who thought that was a good idea? Could have named it something so much cooler. Like, you could, like his line in his end, which I, which I find really cool, is a storm is coming. You could have named it that. That would have been way better than Kazuha Slash. But um, I suggest you grind a lot of the treasure hoarder sigils, insignia, sorry, and because these are used for his talents and his ascension materials. So keep a lot of these in stock if you're going for Kazuha and want to build him properly. And if you're not building him as a main DPS so and are building him primarily as a support, I'd prioritize his ultimate and then his plunging attack because if your main DPS is going to be out on the field and you just want this Kazuha to create his ultimate field, which helps, then I would start with his ultimate, get that up to a good level, and then go for Chihiya Baru. And then even if you want to, if you're building him purely as a support who's going to not be out on the field a lot except to place his ultimate, then you can leave the base attack even as it is. You don't need to worry about that. Next, now that we finish that, we're going to get into stuff you've all come for his attributes my level 90 Kazuha I've actually removed all his artifacts and his weapon because I'm gonna actually build him with you with all the artifacts and weapons that I have so first things first his base attack at level 90 is actually 297 I'm using a dull blade so that's upping his attack by 23 so his basic base attack is 297 his ascension stat is elemental mastery so that increases and yeah since he's got no artifacts none of these matter and his defense is 807 so you can tell his base attack is not as high as the ganyus the hu Tao's, and stuff like that i just want to let anyone who's thinking of pulling for kazuha as a main dps he will not be as strong as xiao hu Tao, ganyu and maybe even klee or diluk as a pure base attack damage dealer like his auto attacks will not deal as much damage as any of those characters. But if you really like his playstyle and really want to keep him as a main DPS, he is perfectly viable for the job. Now we are going to talk about weapons. So his weapons that I use are... Actually, I actually use the Lion's Roar. So the Lion's Roar is a really, really good weapon for Kazuha. Firstly, it matches his aesthetic but before we talk more about this I'm gonna go back to this and talk about weapons in general now the best weapons for Kazuha probably would be his freedom sword um, this one this thing would be really good for him and also the alley flash is a really good weapon for him however I don't like the freedom sword look at all I feel the design does not match Kazuha at all it doesn't match his color it doesn't match his aesthetic it's a good sword but i don't like it in any way if you're not a whale your percentage chance of getting it is not very high next another five star weapon you can use if you want to build kazuha as a dps is actually the aquila favonia i don't have that but that's an amazing sword if i had that i'd put it on him straight out because it buffs his physical damage while giving him a really strong attack a really high base attack so you get best of both worlds with that sword then i think any other five star sword would be really good but now for the four star weapons which maybe more of us will be using mo mostly f2p people will be using the best one if you don't have any gacha swords is the prototype rancor 
which is um, a really good sword if you want to build them as a DPS, as a pure main DPS. I believe the prototype rank is really good because when you get it to level 90, I think your base attack is 565. And it's really good on him. Doesn't look too bad, but another F2P sword which you can use is the Iron Sting. And that's if you're building Kazuha as an elemental mastery support, or even if you're building him as a DPS, that has a really good base attacks, and its substat is elemental mastery. And it's a craftable sword from the blacksmith, so it's free to play, and it's a really, really good sword. However, another four star sword you can use if you have got lucky in Gacha for Kazuha is actually the Sacrificial Sword. This sword is extremely good because if you read the, um, the description, the skill, after damaging an opponent with an elemental skill, the skill has a 40% chance to end its own cooldown. Now, I'm going to try and show you guys what I mean. If you look, his plunging attack, there's that. Okay, it didn't happen that time, but sometimes the sacrificial sword resets your cooldown immediately. And I tell this plunging attack is really powerful. So if it resets immediately, you can use it twice in a row, dealing twice the damage. Come on, why isn't it happening? It usually happens with Bennett, but I guess it's not happening with Kazuha. So this sword is really good, along with the fact that it gives you high energy recharge. So that is a very, very good sword for a support Kazuha, in my opinion, and even a DPS Kazuha. But in my opinion, the best four-star weapon for a main DPS Kazuha is Lion's Raw, and there are multiple reasons for it. Firstly, its aesthetic is just gorgeous. It matches Kazuha so well, if you look at it. It matches his color scheme, and it really looks nice on him. Plus, the design on the blade is amazing. Secondly, the fact is that if you read, it gives you high base attack, but it also buffs your attack in total. So that doesn't mean it only buffs your physical attack. It buffs your physical attack. It buffs your charged attack. It buffs your um, elemental damage, that the Chihi Aburu skill, and it buffs your ultimate's attack also. So it buffs everything, and it really does a great job at it. The next thing I really like is its passive. Increases damage against opponents affected by pyro or electro by 20%. Now this is really important as when you look at his talents, his Chihiyaboru, sorry, his ultimate and his Chihiyaboru both absorb certain elements, right? Mainly his ultimate will absorb Hydro, Pyro, Cryo or Electro. It will absorb these four elements. It won't react with Geo at all. And it may react with Dendro in the future, I don't know. But these are the four elements it reacts with here. Now. This is really good if you're using the, sorry, the Lion Sword because Pyro and Electro, Pyro is kind of a staple of your team. I feel that you should always have one Pyro character at least because Pyro is a super strong element. So let's say you have a D-Look or a Klee or a Bennett and a Fischl in your team, then you're going to get the buff with Pyro and Electro by 20%. So it's a really, really good sword for Kazuha. So my top three recommendations for four star swords if you're if you're lucky to pull the lion's raw go for that and don't have a gacha sword prototype rancor or iron sting craftable from the blacksmith both really good swords you can use the harbinger of dawn as a three star sword but i would really not recommend it because the passive says when hp is above 90 percent it increases your crit rate by 28 percent but anyone who plays kazuha will know like uh, like zhao you know when the like a hypostasis has those attacks which pulse out in a large field, a large area of effect. You can't avoid those attacks even if you're in the air. So mostly you're not going to be at 90% above 90% HP all the time if he's your main DPS unless you, excuse me, unless you are really good at dodging or you have a shield up 24-7. I would not recommend the Harbinger of Dawn. I would recommend Prototype Rancor or Iron Sting F2P or if you have the Lion Sword go for that and if you really want him as a support I would actually recommend Iron Sting or Sacrificial Sword so those are the weapon recommendations so now we will go over artifacts now my artifacts took quite a while of grinding so the day Kazuha came out I was like I tested him I said I want this character and I started hitting the Viridescent veneer like really trying to get 
multiple artifacts. I went through so much Mora, and all my saved Primo gems constantly refreshing resin. That's another thing. Mihoyo, please give us more resin than 160. I mean, please. But anyway, if you are building him as a support, what you want to do is build HP here, which is a normal thing, attack, which you have to, you have no options, but then the rest of this um, artifacts, the sands, the goblet, and the hat, you want to build elemental mastery. If you're building him purely as a support, you want to have all three with elemental mastery, and I would say the best substats to have would be crit rate, crit damage, and energy, and crit rate, crit damage, and energy recharge. Energy, energy recharge is a great substat for a main DPS as well as for a support. But for a support, you want your main stat to be elemental mastery, elemental mastery, elemental mastery, attack, HP. If it's a pure support. Now, if it's a sub DPS, I would say go for HP attack, of course. Then you could go for attack here, animo damage. You don't have to go, you can probably go for animo damage if you want. And instead of crit damage or crit rate, you can do an elemental mastery in one of these three as your main stat. But for my build as a main DPS, I use this. Now, my flower and my feathers substats aren't the best, but the other three I really spent a week just constantly doing the viridescent veneer domain every day until I finally got good artifacts. So yes, that's another thing. You can also build him as a two-piece viridescent, two-piece two noblesse. You can do two-piece viridescent, two-piece glad for a main DPS, but I don't recommend that. And that is because I feel you lose out on the amazing four-piece buff, which is increasing your swirl damage by 60%. In my opinion, this is just an amazing buff as your ultimate is swirl even your chiyaburu is a swirl attack and this 60 percent damage is really really good in my opinion so if i would say go for four piece veridas and veneer for a main dps kazuha it's just going to take quite a while of grinding in the domain now these are my substats, crit damage 21%, attack 14, elemental mastery and defense. I would like to change the defense to energy recharge or maybe even change the elemental mastery to energy recharge and have another attack substat. But I got what I've got so I'll use this for now. Now my feather is not the best. I would like to take both the HP substats off or at least one and have an energy recharge, attack, attack and then crit rate or crit damage. So this is not the best substat, but it works. Now, these are my artifacts, which I'm really proud of, my pride and joys. This is my sands, crit rate, attack, crit damage, and energy recharge. This is one of my best artifacts. It's really, really good. Then my next one is an animal damage cup. Um, it's, it's also got fantastic substats. The only thing I'd like to change is the HP to energy recharge. But it is what it is and then lastly this I'm, I really like this circlet it's very very good I just wish the energy recharge was slightly higher but I really like it it's a crit rate stat you can also use crit damage if you want I just use crit rate because it's got great substats and that is my Kazuha's build if you look so his attack goes up by 1126 so if you look, his attack is 1,126, defense 142, elemental mastery 63, HP 8,340. And my Kazuha's stats are attack 2,266, defense 949, and elemental mastery 178, max HP 21,688. Now, his auto attack animation, let me just show it to you, is 1 hit, 2 hit, 3 hit, four hit and then he does his fifth hits like a bunch of slashes it's like three slashes then his charge attack is just that that sound is so satisfying and you can also use him as a traversal he's very good for traversal so you can either hold his elemental chihayaboru down to do more damage obviously when you hold it down it's going to do way more damage than if you tap not a lot more but a decently amount higher amount if you hold so i'd always recommend holding in fights unless you're on a pinch but look even for traversal you can just 
tap it and go up constantly. So I usually use this when I'm traveling over long distances. And now we're gonna go into his build. My car, my build is actually a bit of a strange build, but here it is. So when I got Kazuha, I said if I I, I used Bennett. If you haven't seen my Kazuha pulling video, go watch it. I'll link it up in the description if you'd like to check it out. And I just pulled Bennett out as my only character in my party and said if I got Kazuha with the unluckiest character in the game, I would replace my level 80 friendship 9 D look with Bennett as my main pyro character. And I got Kazuha, so yep, and I'm enjoying using Bennett. So I use you, Bennett because you want me on your team? Yes I do. But I use Bennett because mainly he can make use of the sacrificial sword very well. And I run a four-piece Crimson Witch on him, which is not conventional. Usually people would run Noblesse. But I use it so that in case if I ever want to make Bennett my, a DPS character, like a sub-DPS, I can just do that and have him be a sub-DPS. None of my other three characters are really leveled up properly and built properly, so excuse that. Then, the third character is kind of a flex you can use. Fischl, I would say if you have Fischl, she'd be great. I would use Fischl. You can use Sucrose as a second if you want Animal Residence. You can use Kaya for Cryo. You can use Chongyun for Cryo. You can use Lisa. You can use Mona. Jing Cho would be great. Zhang Ling, Beidou, Amber, Rosaria from whatever I have. You can use Razor. You can have so, so many characters built alongside Kazuha. But if you're using a main DPS character, I'd say a character who can provide off-field support like Kaya's ultimate can be off-field support or Lisa's ultimate can be off-field support and that's why I say Fischl is the best because she can just summon Oz and she that would be really good I really want Fischl but I don't have her sadly hopefully I'll get her soon but Kaya is also another character I've used as a second DPS in my team he's running a four-piece glad And yeah, Kaya was one of the characters I was using as my main DPS. He was the character who was my main DPS before Kazuha. So he's pretty well built. And then the last character is totally up to you. I would always put a Geo character because I feel Geo is a great element. You can have Ningguang, you can have Noel, or you can have Zhongli. I have Zhongli who is probably my highest friendship level character, even more than Diluc. So I used the Primordial Jade Wing Sphere because I got that luckily but on the standard banner. And I run a two-piece Archaic Petra, two-piece Noblesse on Zhongli. Why is his stats so low? I need to buff his stats a bit more, yes, because I moved him from physical to this. This goblet is really bad, but we're going to ignore that. But you can also, instead of using Zhongli, you can use a Pyro, Cryo, and Electro support. You could use Beidou as a shield character if you want. She would be really good because you would make use of, firstly, his Kazuha Slash's buff of reacting with all of the elements. So when one's on a cooldown, you can use the other. Or you could also... And you'll also buff... the. You'll make use of the Lion's Row passive if you're using Electro, which I would be if I had Fischl. She would replace Kaya. But for now... That is my team, and one second, Wherever there we are. World, I roam. So that's my team, and that's my Kazuha build. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I know this was a bit long, but yeah. And thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Now I'm going to do a small damage showcase with this build this team memories of so enjoy this before i start the damage showcase i'm just going to do it on both the regis vines i just want to say that when kazuha when i get kazuha's talents to a 10 10 10 i plan to crown him that's going to take a long time i will then do a full showcase again so keep an eye out for that let's get on with the damage showcase